I'm Susie from Stage Assault. <laughs> so, but this work is in collaboration with Taizu, which stands for the Lutheran University of Applied Sciences and Arts, so one is a doctor, so Dr. Beer, and also Yana from the SME at uh, Eton Hall. So, as Nino mentioned before, so we're interested also in tech when we deal with financial problems. And precisely what we're doing here is an analysis of the different sorts of um, reports and also public media documents. Um, so we did a very interesting share task with Guam students, so 25 of them, and all of the level students, and one of the courses we taught last year. Um, so I'm going to present some very interesting results today, um, three to ten minutes, but uh, we provide also the, um, the website for the reference if you're interested in the data and the methodology. So what is green washing, right? Um, so in a nutshell, it, um, it is uh, some, um, some companies report about their ESG efforts, and they um, are oftentimes overly positive or um, uh, incomplete or wrong statements uh, in, in this um, report. And usually, how the ESG rating is done is based on internal documents that are published by the uh, company. And um, it has all started from um, the 80 years when it's been. Uh, so, the top powers do not have spread to the digital organization. That we can see, and also the uh, the term has appeared uh, quite often with respect to the other um, type words that we can observe in all types of documents. So, um, if we formulate um, greenwashing detection as an information problem, then we will have um, a mismatch of information that you can um, observe from the internal and also the external documents. And so, the solution is here that we wanted to compare the sentiment that are embedded in all these documents and primarily looking at the main points uh, on the companies that we see on the stock market and to see if we can actually identify these signals. Um, so the task, as I mentioned, is a shared task that we offer for the students. Um, so we can form groups, but so we have to uh, provide them with the data set and also the task, right? And we provide them with the internal documents versus external documents. And as I mentioned, it's the um, the task. So it's the German uh, stock index and the company is from 2021 to 2023, so it's a time series. And also we um, ask the students to align if they see any um, SDG goals alignment with the ESG documents that are handed over. Um, obviously, this is a rather ambitious goal within two and a half months, but the students did a very good job. So we broke down the task into different stages. Um, so first, we ask them to do a uh, document analysis and sort of look at the distribution of the documents and work. And then um, there can be data annotations, but there are different ways you can do it. Right? You can use a human annotator, you can uh, use Larson models, or you can even combine these two. And then uh, the third stage is to do a sentiment analysis, and then uh, the fourth stage is to look at the alignment between the CD goals and these um, ESG reports and public media documents. Um, so I'm going to briefly walk you through uh, the interesting findings we have uh, while providing like um, um, a summary slide for the audit stages. So for the first stage, students went ahead and looked at the characteristics of these different ESG topics by first counting into words, into multiple word expressions, into tokens, and then also look at the evolution of the, uh, the topics over time. Um, so this is one of the submissions we have, right? So. Um, it's a word cloud uh, map of all the documents, and you see here that the important um, ESG topic pops up. And also, if you follow the change over time, you will see that a uh, certain topic they um, put in with, um, depends on how you have viewed it, right? But there are really uh, ups and downs that you can solve in the, in the topic. And um, in stage two, the students are encouraged to annotate uh, some amount of the data. So we encourage them to look at um, 200 documents or 500 work, uh, 500 sentences. So there are different ways you can do it, right? Um, and you can use a human annotator or you can prompt one of your favorite um, uh, models and depends on what cognition resources you have. And they try different uh, routes. And um, as of no surprise, so to see students who so far perform the best, especially in uh, the still shot um, scenario. And for um, stage three, what the students did is that they went ahead and looked at the sentiment uh, incorporated in the internal and external documents. 
So um, I mentioned sentiment, right? So this can be a binary qualification task, can be a categorical, can be a continuous uh, qualification uh, or regression task. So students, they, they try different ways of doing them. And also, um, they compare the internal and external um, measurements and look at the disparity um, either from the student's perspective or from the document perspective. So you can see here that uh, there, there are some negative differences in sentiment. Negative here we mean external minus control, so meaning that some signals of screen washing is in the in the document. So if you look at the, the companies here, right? Um, there, there is um, Biosoft, so it's the money company of media, and also um, Digital. And they are um, somehow perfect in any of the analysis that students have performed. And also the my automobile companies, they show um, different methods of how they find where they have that um, And the students also went ahead and looked at the uh, news articles and precisely these are things that have been reported all over the media. And uh, I was not surprised that their method worked well in terms of accessibility and uh, is method agnostic. And on stage four, um, it's yet another task, right? So we have this SDG goals, 17 of them. So how do the documents look like if you wanted to look at the alignment between internal and external documents? And uh, so here are 17 um, SDG goals, as I said, they're on the X axis. And uh, if you look at sector-wise uh, performance, the energy sector is one of those that align mostly uh, closely with the uh, the needs. It's called affordable and clean energy, and the least um, is gender quality, equality. So, and um, it also stands out that you know there is uh, one or, or few unless you go that are relatively easy to be aligned with. And if you look at internal and external uh, documents, so it is. Um, not surprising that internal documents they are closer to SDG goals. And if you look at sector wise, uh, the, the dependents, right? So we took out the, um, the automobile producers, and more or less they have the same safety of aligning with the SDG goals. And last but not least, throughout this analysis, we found out that internal and, doc internal and external documents they are written very, very differently. So um, this is also quite striking how. Uh, um, if you're interested in the data set and also the report and quotes, please visit our um, homepage and feel free to contact uh, one of us and probably ask one how you managed to gather so many students participating. Thank you very much.